Things have just changed in the Android world, and this is amazing news for Samsung. After years of Exynos chipset troubles, it looks like they're gonna have a monster on their hands, and that's good news for Exynos markets, but also good news for everyone else because competition is only a good thing for us. So in yesterday's news, we briefly discussed the new chipset designs from ARM, and these are the things that chipset makers use in flagship phones. So Exynos, Snapdragon chipsets all use ARM designs, and we got the new design information yesterday. So we have new CPU and GPU architecture from ARM, the yearly upgrades that don't offer us anything extraordinary, they're just iterative yearly upgrades, slightly more powerful, slightly more energy efficient. So we now have the Cortex A78 CPU and the Mali G78 GPU. These aren't massive groundbreaking upgrades overall, and actually ARM's stock CPU cores aren't anywhere near the most powerful they're actually designed to be quite powerful, but really just quite cost effective too, because the Android world has so many different uses. And one of the main focuses is just on keeping the price down. But then we got the really big news, and this is different. A new design from ARM called the X1 Core. And ARM has thrown the rule book out the window. They have designed a very big, very powerful, very expensive core, what they call the X1. So as we know, over the last few years, Samsung has invested heavily in its Mongoose or M custom cores. And this was an attempt to go head to head with the Snapdragon and also Apple's custom designed cores. These are the things that offer that real peak performance. They're expensive and they're big, but they offer better performance. And Samsung were trying to do that too. To cut a long story short though, that didn't happen. Samsung failed. Their custom cores just were not as good as the competition. They got too hot and so throttled early and also just gave worse battery life as well. They did not compete with the custom cores that Snapdragon has or that Apple has. So Samsung have sacked the custom core team. They no longer have a custom core. Enter ARM's X1 high performance core. And it is the type of high performance core that will go head to head with the custom cores from Snapdragon and Apple's custom cores. And this is essentially what Samsung tried to do with the custom core team, but they failed. And so now they've gone to ARM to design this core for them. So it looks like Samsung Exynos chipsets are now gonna benefit from this high performance core, which will bring them in line with Snapdragon chipsets in the CPU area. Arm said that they developed this core after requests from clients, it's basically Samsung asking them to make them a core that will go head to head with the other chipsets. But Samsung aren't done there though, the CPU is only one part, there is a GPU as well, and actually Arm's GPUs aren't really the best. The Adreno GPUs on Snapdragon chipsets outperform them, so what is Samsung gonna do here? As we've discussed before, Samsung is teaming up with AMD to provide GPUs for their chipsets. And we have that previously released benchmark of an AMD chipset that shows the GPU outperforming Snapdragon 865 GPUs by a pretty big margin in a couple of different tests. The biggest margin in one of the tests the AMD GPU outperformed the Snapdragon GPU by three times, which is just massive and it's really exciting for the future of Samsung's chipsets. There are many other factors to consider though before it gets to the final version software as well, but it looks like now the GPU has been sorted out from Samsung and because of ARM and then ditching the Mongoose cores, the CPU has been sorted out as well. That is all your tech news for today though. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.